the amazing thing about dual rotor technology is this super high efficiency at the price point we can offer. What if I told you that a new type of electric motor has been developed, one that doesn't follow the traditional rules we've used for over a century? A motor that doesn't rely on a single heavy steel yoke to guide magnetic fields, that uses two synchronized rotors instead of one, and that can boost real-world driving efficiency by up to 20%. Sounds unlikely, right? But a team of engineers in Munich has created exactly that. And the craziest part? Almost nobody is talking about it. Our dual rotor radial flux topology, with its very high torque density and low material cost, solves those two main problems of today's in-wheel motors. This technology, called the deep drive dual rotor motor, breaks multiple engineering assumptions at once. It promises higher torque density, lower cost, fewer materials and performance numbers that even major automakers didn't think were possible only a few years ago. We're talking about over 2,000 newton meters of torque from a motor that weighs around 34 kilograms, a design that can cut magnetic material use by 50% and reduce iron content by nearly 80%. And yet most people, even in the EV world, have no idea this is happening. Today, we're diving deep into how this thing actually works, the engineering breakthroughs behind it, and the limitations it still faces before it reaches mass production. Stick around, because by the time we're done, you might realize that the future of electric powertrains won't come from batteries or exotic materials, but from rethinking how a motor's magnetic fields can work together. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Most electric vehicle motors use a radial flux permanent magnet design. The stator has copper coils, the rotor has magnets, and the magnetic field rotates like a spinning wheel, pulling the rotor along. But almost every EV motor also has a yoke, a heavy steel ring that holds the stator together, guides magnetic loops, and carries heat away from the windings. The yoke is useful, but it's heavy, adds no torque, and limits design flexibility. Removing it usually breaks the motor by compromising structural rigidity, magnetic flux guidance, and heat dissipation. This is why yokeless radial flux motors are almost non-existent until now. Before diving into deep drive's design, it's worth comparing motor architectures. Radial flux motors are widely used because they're simple, reliable, and cost-effective. Axial flux motors, like those from Yasa, are compact and efficient but hard to manufacture at scale. Deep Drive's innovation is applying a dual rotor concept in a radial flux topology, combining axial flux performance benefits with radial flux manufacturability. This hybrid approach allows higher torque density while keeping production feasible. Deep drive solution? Two synchronized rotors, one on the outside, one on the inside, forming a magnetic sandwich around the stator. This increases the interaction surface, meaning more torque. The magnetic loops flow directly from the north pole on one rotor to the south pole on the other, eliminating the need for a yoke. This reduces weight, frees up space, and simplifies magnetic pathways. Removing the yoke creates new challenges, how to prevent torsion, manage heat, and maintain structural integrity. The solution comes from the winding design. Deep Drive's secret is their truss-like torsion-resistant copper windings. Instead of wires, thick copper bars are arranged to resist twisting forces from the dual rotors. The bars lock together and attach to the housing, solving structural and thermal problems. Copper transfers torque efficiently while channeling heat into the housing, where coolant removes it. Without these windings, the dual rotor design would be impossible. They provide mechanical stability, heat management, and manufacturability all in one. We're talking about over 2,000 newton meters of torque from a motor that weighs around 34 kilograms. Power goes directly to the wheels, reducing drivetrain losses. 
low load efficiency is improved, leading to roughly a 20% increase in real-world efficiency. The yokeless design reduces iron by 80%, magnet use by 50%, and cost per newton meter of torque by 30%. These numbers aren't hypothetical. They're validated in prototypes. The motor can be used as an in-wheel system or a central drive unit. In-wheel motors often face unsprung mass issues, but deep drive's lightweight design and improved suspension mitigate this. Renault has already adopted in-wheel motors for sports EVs. Test drives show precise handling, responsive torque, and positive driver feedback. A major strength is manufacturability. Axial flux dual rotor motors struggle with large-scale production. Deep drive's radial flux dual rotor design and copper bar windings can be mass-produced using standard automated techniques. This balance between innovation and production readiness is rare in motor design. Deep drive's motor reduces the need for rare earth magnets by 50% and iron by 80% lowering environmental impact and costs. Using efficient copper bars instead of complex pile windings also makes the motor easier to recycle. These improvements are crucial as the EV industry scales. No technology is perfect. Precise rotor alignment is critical. Manufacturing tolerances are tight and copper bar windings require specialized forming. Durability for in-wheel configurations needs long-term testing. Mass adoption depends on automakers' willingness to trust a radically new topology. Deep Drive plans small-scale production in 2026 and mass production by 2028. Partnerships with BMW and other automakers indicate strong interest. If successful, this dual-rotor design could influence not just in-wheel motors, but central drive units, motorcycles, delivery EVs, and even industrial applications. Deep Drive's dual rotor motor combines mechanical ingenuity, magnetic efficiency, and manufacturability. It delivers high torque, reduces materials, and improves efficiency, all without a yoke. Could this be the next leap in EV propulsion? Possibly. Only real-world testing and adoption will tell. If you found this exploration intriguing, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Here's a thought-provoking question. As dual-rotor yokeless motors become the norm, which component of the electric vehicle drivetrain do you think will undergo transformation next? Perhaps it's time to reconsider batteries, gearboxes, or inverters. Share your thoughts below. Your insights matter to us, so join the conversation in the comments section. We look forward to hearing your predictions and ideas as innovation in the EV space continues to evolve at a rapid pace, shaping the future of sustainable transportation. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and I'll see you in the next one.